Well, this is a better look at the boat itself and the marina that we are in. We're in the Atlantic Islands. This is uh, an area right outside New York Harbor. It's actually right across from the National Park Sandy Hook on the New Jersey Extension. The Maijo is a 75 foot long boat. It has walk around uh, capacity. So you'll have anglers on both sides of the boat as well as the bow and stern. It's uh, captained by a fellow who's had 40 years of experience on the water and knows the local hot spots and mates. They're there to help you. So all of the equipment for today will be the boat's equipment. So I know we've spent a lot of time showing you how to repair and maintain your reels. Well, there's a good amount of uh, fishing that goes on without ever owning a rod or reel. And we'll use the boat's equipment today and then maybe we'll even do a fishing reel of the day uh, what it is that they've used to uh, fish locally. So the tackle on this boat is set up for inshore New Jersey fishing. We have basically a Penn Jigmaster. That seems to be the reel of choice here. Penn Jigmaster and it's on a, um, a five foot rod. We have a six ounce bank sinker on there. Can't get that. There you go. And a uh, basically a, a 4 0 or a 5 0 hook. The bait of choice is probably going to be spearing with a little bit of a run on uh, some squid just to attract the fish, but the fish are really after the spearing, which is uh, a mullet type of a fish. And uh, again, we're going to use all the boat's equipment. We'll see how it goes and teach the kids how to fish. One of the things to note about uh, fishing here in New Jersey is there's always size limitations on the catch. In this case, it's a 17 or 18 inch limit on summer flounder, which is sometimes called fluke. We call it fluke here. And well, we're very uh, stringent about the guidelines, and there's certainly fines and everything we paid if you ignore the size limit. So, this boat, the Baijo 2, is uh, got the Measuring equipment out, and uh, you don't measure every fish. Interestingly enough, all the fish in here that uh, don't meet that size limit are going to be tagged and released. We've got a member of the American Littoral Society here, and uh, they're going to show us a little bit about tagging fish and explain a little bit more about, well, what the uh, purpose of tagging fish is, the science behind it, and how uh, that'll be used to study these fish for generations to come. We got guys all around you. I'm Are they tagging those? On this trip, we're tagging fish. You can see members of the American Littoral Society. This one came up, it's a short. We're going to tag it. You only tag fish that are not stressed. And uh, we'll see, show you a little bit about how that's done right now. Can you tag one? Yes, well, I need to go back. Can I 
cast them off the water? Like well, the salt water hose? Or no? Oh my god, why are you doing that? <laughs> I don't know. Why work? are you touching it? You might be able to just blast it off. What is it? It's a gum on your finger. Cool. It's fine. Uh, you gonna tag that? Excuse me, would I have to. I'm not, I'm not touching that if it will. Oh, I didn't come prepared. <laughs> not much changes. That is. 14 okay. Okay, come here. Yeah, yeah. And then I need to put it closer. And two. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, so you're going to take your needle, take the thingy off. I, yeah, yes. Um, you're going to tag him right about here ish. Inch, depending on how big the fish is, an inch back, half inch down. Right here. Um, yeah. So when you're gonna, when you tag it, you want to go straight down. Clearly, you don't want to go on an angle. Um, sometimes mm, to right like in there. You don't want to put it too close to the top of the fish, or else it could easily rip out. Go straight fish. through. Yeah, straight through. You got it. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Pull it through the back. Straight through. Pull it out. Okay. Any kind of special knot here? Overhand. Okay. Kind of did it. Fine. Don't worry about it. Snip that off. What was it again? Four, yeah. Yeah, I think it was like 14. I didn't hear the full. Kind of I shot? saw 14, yeah. Three quarters. It looks like it was closing. Oh, we did. That one. Right. Oh, that's the one. Little bigger sea bass this time. <laughs> Aaron, I got a third one. Right. You want the fish? You want to get a picture? Yeah. I'll take the right. bow. Or turn around here, it's gonna take a picture right there, okay? That's great, thank you. Because you got something on there. Oh, you got one on this one too. Here, somebody want one? I, I think there might be one on here. She got one. The lively guy. Yeah. I'll tell you what. One of the places we fish is the, is the shipping channel. It's deep, it has good ridges on each side. Perfect way for ambush fishing. These ships are coming in and out of New York Harbor. It's called the Ambush Channel. And that's a great, great place for the first receipt.
the day, hopefully they take care of these rods and wheels. They seem to be in good repair. I haven't seen them rinse them off yet. That's recommended after each treat. Use your fresh water hose or a bucket of water. Rinse down the rods and wheels. They'll be ready to go. To all volunteers that made this possible. To those that are interested in passing this on to the next generations. To our first responders, firefighters, police, first aid, and everything. Thank you for all of this that you do. This is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. I hope your day went as well as ours.